Hello guys, Wim here. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to cover a very common topic and that is how can you make aim offset in your game? So when we hit play here, we have a, a character here. It just has an idle animation that moves forward and it just, just uses the movement from the third person project. So let's go ahead and make sure that this guy can now look up and down and that the guy then responds to the aim offset. So the way that we're going to do that is that first of all, you're going to need some assets. So I myself got this blocky character here. I got this animation for idle and running. And then in here, I got my three aim offset animations. And the important thing is that these animations are all one frame. So if you look over here, you see that this is basically just one frame and that's it. And then the way that I named them is that I say AS, which stands for animation sequence and then AO. And then we got three of them. So we want one for down, one for center looking and one for up looking. And it is important that you also know where your idle animation is because we are going to set up the aim offset with a preview animation in there, which runs off of your idle animation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is inside of the folder where you will have your aim offset animations, you are going to have to right click and then you go over to animation and then find yourself the aim offset. Now you can make aim offset that also is directional. So that means you can also lean left and right. But in this example over here, this is one directional because it's only on the pitch up or down basically. So we are going to select the aim offset 1D and then select your skeleton. And then let's call this something like aim offset 1D uh, blocky because blocky is my character here. So I'm going to open this guy up uh, and then over here, we are going to have to set this up with, uh, with all of the aim offsets. But before we can drag the aim offsets in here, we need to adjust them a little bit. So the first thing that I want to do is go into each of these and adjust them the way that they need to be adjusted. So let's start by opening up the down animation here. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down here to the additive settings and then click it from additive to mesh space and then select the skeleton reference pose and switch that to selected animation frame. And then over here, it asks you for an animation frame, and that is going to be your base frame. And the base frame is always going to be the center one. So even though this is down, we are now going to select the center one just like this. And then if you go ahead and click the little arrow here, then this one is set up correctly. Go ahead and save. Then we're going to do the up one. So also scroll down to additive, make it mesh space. This one, set it to selected animation frame, then select your center and select it over here. Hit save and then do center itself. So also over here, mesh space, selected animation frame, select center and plug it in here. There you go. Hit save and that's it. Now we can put these three inside of here. So when you open up this aim offset file, then you want to go here to horizontal axis and this you want to name your pitch because we're going to be looking up and down. And then the pitch is going to be from minus 90 to 90 and we can make it a grid division of two and then we can set it to snap. You see, we have a grid here on the left, in the middle and on the right. So what we're going to do is minus 90 will be down, center will be here in the middle and up will be here on the right 90 degrees. And then you see that your character gets removed here. So you don't see your character. And then what you want to do here is what I mentioned earlier. You want to set up your idle pose in here. So if you then go ahead and locate your normal idle animation, select it, then you can plug it in here and then your character should appear again. Then you can hit save. And then to preview if the aim offset works, you can hold control and I scroll like this. So now you see that this guy is starting to look down up and in the middle, which means that we correctly set up this aim offset. Now all we have to do is add this aim offset to the animation blueprint and then make sure that animation blueprint can basically read the pitch so that it can work. So right now we can go ahead and close this aim offset and then go ahead and locate your animation blueprint. So for me, I got it over here, ABP blocky. Open that one up, make sure you go to the event graph. You can also go there by double clicking here. Uh, and then you should have some logic that looks like this. So on event blueprint initialize animation, you, you want to get the owning actor of this animation blueprint, cast to the character class, save that, also get the character movement component, uh, and then on tick here. So that means event blueprint update animation. You want to validate that character. And then, well, for one, this is just for my basic animation logic. We want to get some ground speed. So that's my logic over here. But now to get the pitch, we are going to make a sequence here. So hold S and left click. So let's hook this up. And then I'll uh, run you through it real quick. So basically from that character reference that we have over here, we want to get the base aim rotation and then the actor aim rotation. We then want to have a delta rotator. So you get one by typing delta rotator and here it pops up. 
just like this. Then you want to split this value over here. So right click it and then hit split struct. And then the Y value, which is the pitch, is the one that we want to store as a variable here. After we got this variable here from the event graph, we then want to go ahead and set up our animation graph with this aim offset. So if we then go to the animation graph, we can find ourselves this here. So this is my basic state machine. And here we have the output post. And then what we want to do is in between our state machine, which runs all of our locomotion logic, then in between here, we now want to drag in our aim offset here. And then you want to put your state machine logic in here. This should contain your locomotion. And this one then goes into the result. And then for the pitch over here, we are going to drag in the pitch and plug that in just like this. Then if you go ahead, hit compile and save, you'll see that this line pops up here. Uh, and that's basically it. So now if we go ahead and hit play, then see if I look down, the character will start to look down like this. And if I look up, you can see that the character will start to look up. So right now, yeah, the basic third person character uh, does not allow me to control the character like that I wanted to strafe, for example. So but you do see that the aim offset goes up and the aim offset goes down. If you do want your character to strafe, then that's very simple actually. You just go into your character blueprint, go to character movement over here, scroll all the way down over here, and then turn this one off and turn this one on. And then set this value here to minus one. Then if you go ahead and hit play, then you see that you can walk directionally like this. So you can strafe, but you would of course need strafing animations. But what we can see here is that we can now look down and we can look all the way up. So that's how you make aim offset. And this also works automatically in replicated games. So if I got two games here and I click on play, then we can see that we have the client here on the left and both the server and the client can see this guy looking up and looking down. And then the same goes for the server. So the client can see the server looking down and looking up. So this aim offset is automatically multiplayer ready and replicated for us. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. That really helps out the channel. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon. You can download awesome multiplayer example projects there. Uh, and also, please be sure to check out our Unreal Engine Marketplace, where we make amazing game templates that will greatly help you with your game development journey. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.